What's going on y'all? Holy shit here. In this video, we are going to talk about The Rock with his new costume. We're going to talk about pros, cons, and give this dude a little defense test. So he's part of the Sand Empire family. So he is by himself, so he doesn't get that uh, 10 to 20% defense bonus. But if he was paired with uh, any of those um, other heroes, that would add quite a bit. Now he's pretty tanky. With a 906 attack, 982 defense, and 1656 HP, limit broken. He's at average mana speed. So his costume bonus doesn't really up him uh, too much with the mana speed. I think it's 1%. Defense, additional 3%, and then HP 6%. So that's respectable. Uh, sometimes the costume doesn't do enough, but he wasn't too bad to begin with. So his ability is Beach Party, which is all enemies receive 764 sand damage over four turns. All enemies get negative 44 defense for three turns. Dispels buffs from all enemies. So that's not bad. Now it's not direct damage, but we'll go over why uh, sometimes passive damage can you know be utilized a little bit better. So so he dispels buffs from all enemies. So if you're going against you know somebody like Ferret that has a uh, counterattack. Really nice to, you know, get rid of those counterattacks without actually receiving damage and then thus thereafter end up doing sand damage over four turns. Now, it doesn't seem like 764 sand damage is that much, but once you, you know, couple in troops, uh, this setup right here is doing 245 sand damage over four turns. So that's 980... Uh, sand damage per person so each one total that all that up it's 4900 total damage so when you you know group that all together um using them on offense that's quite nice um and let's see what are those pros here so his pros are uh also that now he's a fighter class so before he was a barbarian so the fighter class, you know, it's sometimes, uh, you know, you get that, that luck of the draw and he revives and, you know, maybe like your healer end up, uh, you know, reviving him and, you know, you last a little bit longer. Um, you know, the total damage is great. Um, yeah, I mean, I think overall this, this costume bonus is what he needed. Uh, and, you know, I think I ended up upping him because I didn't have a dispeller or, I'm sorry, a cleanser. Uh, before so I actually upped him a while ago he used ascension items and uh yeah I I wasn't too impressed uh with him at all um and I ended up just you know getting a better uh, cleanser over time and taking the emblems off of him uh, but now he's a little bit better you know he's tankier he's I think a little bit more offensive he's doing way more damage than before I think uh you know like an unemblem card it was like 306 damage so you were probably looking at I don't know, maybe 400, you know, with your troops all together, you know, somewhere in the ballpark. So, you know, he's doing almost double that damage. So that's huge. Um, let's see, and what else? Uh, bef I would say there's only a con is uh, I did like that uh, negative 50% uh, healing. It was Again, it was only over two turns, but, you know, it's still kind of a, you know, a defensive, um, you know, ability. So... I think I'll, you know, grade him uh, as is um, offensively. I'll give him, give, give him an A because he's, he's also good against, like, Titans. And, you know, when you can wield him, he's essentially really good on offense, uh, especially, you know, just that damage over time. You know, you pop him off once, you get negative defense down, you have somebody else, you know, a sniper or whomever. Um, you know, take out the, the rest of the crew. Uh, he can pair really nice with a 3 2 uh, setup. Um, I would say uh, defensively, you know, he, he, he's a little bit lacking there. Um, you know, I would drop that down to a, a B plus on defense. You know, if he had kept his that negative 50%, you know, de decrease on healing, I would have really bumped him up to an A at that point. Um, but, you know, overall, I think they did, you know, a decent job with, you know, the upgrades with this costume. Sometimes a costume doesn't change enough, and it's almost kind of, like, pointless. Why would you even, you know, up a hero uh, with if the costume isn't enough of a change? 
but now you get the option of if you want to use him as a cleanser, if you want to use him as a dispeller, you know, he's essentially two cards in one, and sometimes that's why it's a good uh, idea to up a costume because it opens up your, your arsenal of how you want to, you know, use that character, so... Yeah, um, kind of excited about this. He was hard to find on, on um, the maps here. Like when I was reading, uh, I come across a couple of them, and he just wasn't anywhere to be found because there's so many good holy heroes. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you all like today's content. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.